What is a Doppelbach beer? Let's figure it out. So the Doppelbach beer was made famous by brewing monks of St. Francis of Paula in Berlin during the 17th century. So this was my beginning stage of just inspiration and cool things that I wanted to kind of bring into the design. The first lockup I did for the Liberator, which is the name of the beer, I found some really cool old black lettering things and I thought that would spark the initial kind of creativity of where we were gonna get to go. Next up, I needed something cool for the background. We were looking at some diamond patterns. This is a two-tone green. Uh, really has that touch that we were looking for, and plus we antiqued it a little bit just to kind of give it that vintage vibe. Knowing that maybe there might be the possibility of having a metallic ink or not, I started building some copper enhanced gradations. And these were the idea to use in certain areas to give it that varnish and that metallic vibe throughout the design. And you'll see how we started using it in both frames, type treatments, and the overall Liberator lockup on the front panel. Another nice touch was adding things like food pairing. So here is where we can suggest what kind of foods work really well with this beer, along with the ABV and IBU ratings. A nice touch on the front was the fact that this was gonna be hand numbered. There were only a hundred of these bottles made. So this was the spot where we can hand letter and gave them an official 14 cannon seal. Here on the back, we had both the owner and the brewmaster signing the bottles along with the logo at the back. So here's the final look at the flat label. This was getting prepped to go to print, but before we did that, we wanted to take that art and turned it into some 3D models. Here we are on Dimension. We found a fantastic bottle that really replicated the actual bottle we were using. And here we got to apply the label, show both the front center, the back right side, and the back left side. That was a nice way to showcase it all together as well. Eventually, we added backgrounds and different textures to put it in different environments, knowing we were gonna take this and make a great social media post to highlight it. So here were some of the final pictures. We used a hammered copper. This was so close up, you didn't even see a background. And then we found a really nice kind of oak wood for the background. Here's a look at the final lockups that were being used for social media, including one that had the Liberator logo lock. Finally, we took them, brought them into Instagram, placed them on there, gave them a nice description, and showcased these for the company. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little behind the scenes of how we made the Doppelback Liberator beer for 14 Cannons. This is another episode of How We Do. See you soon.